Uh, welcome everyone to the dot block. We are starting off with the mobile one, and as you can see, we are playing on actual hardware. Uh, this is a Nokia 6220 Classic, to be specific. I will explain why this particular model later on, I guess. Uh, but now we can start in 3, 2, 1, and go. As you can hear already, the music is a banger. Like, all of the tracks in this game are absolute bangers. Uh, there are three chapters. Technically four, but well, for now, three chapters. Each consists of an aerial mission and a land mission. Uh, land missions are fairly simple, we just need to kill waves of enemies. Uh, I guess there isn't much to it, we can move around, we can tag, of course, we can jump, and jump is actually used on bosses for the quick strat if we want to go for it. It is a bit risky, but I will try to do it nonetheless. Obviously, you don't want to get knocked down because it's slow. Uh, and you can also see, like, at the bottom, the blue bar slowly charging. That's my special attack, my dragon attack. We can use Angelus to uh, murder enemies. Why do people do this? Because this game is great. And it is absolutely crucial for the Dragon Drakengard plot as a whole. But yeah, we will be using the uh, special Angelus attacks in some particular places to just dispose of the enemies quickly. Uh, obviously, well, we can only get so many attacks before the game ends, so we have them routed pretty nicely. This is the first boss, it's pretty simple. Because the boss dies, dies quite quickly, at least this one. Later on, it will become a bit more dangerous. Oh yeah, we also have like the finisher. Like if we keep attacking for a while, we just do the finisher the, where time sends like the shockwave or something. Okay, that's the first stage done, I guess, or first part of the first chapter. <laughs> Yo, Jay, it's also my favorite game. Now we are moving on to the aerial part, which is again simple. We just need to spam fireballs and destroy everything. Also, the music changed. There are like five tracks in the game, I think. They are all amazing, but I think the, like, the boss fight track is the best one. Uh, the only thing we can do here, really, is try to kill the enemies as soon as possible, like, pretty much as they spawn. Sometimes you can see, like, my fireballs uh, exploding mid-air, seemingly, like, hitting nothing, but I think that's just because you kill, like, the enemies before they even appear on the screen. So that's fast, of course. Uh, I think the waves spawn like in the same order every time, but I think like the places on the screen where they spawn are randomized. I think. I'm not sure. I don't know this game. And the aerial missions also have a boss fight, except for the first one. The first one has no boss, it's just some of these thingies, whatever this is. I don't know what it's called. Oh yeah, that's chapter one done. <laughs> Uh, mission 2, or chapter 2, becomes a bit more spooky because uh, new enemies will appear and they are actually dangerous. And I don't have my notes open, that's bad. I mean, my notes are like five lines of text. But yeah. I basically don't remember where I want to use my dragon attacks, so I have that noted down. Uh, one annoying thing that can happen is where the enemies go off screen, it usually happens here, and now it's just slow because, well, I think I can only damage them now with like the finisher with the shockwave, and that just takes a lot of time to kill them. But yeah, there will be, uh, like, big black armor dudes running around the screen, and they are super fast. What's happening? Please don't knock me down. Please stop! Yeah, the game is basically, like, knock the enemies down before they knock, down, knock you down. Uh, is that it? No, but wait, that's one more. And then we can use the bonus dragon attack. And you will be able to witness Angelus' power, finally, very shortly, after this wave, basically. Because uh, I need three dragon attacks for the bad waves, so to say it, and one I use as a bonus, just to make it a bit faster. And the reason why dragon attack is OP is because it basically clears the screen, just one shots everything on the screen. We love Angelus, he's the best. And these guys are spooky because they are super fast, they knock us down, they deal a lot of damage, so we just deal with them by well, wiping the screen with Angelus. And it's also fast, and safe, and nice. And here comes the boss fight. This one is much more uh, spooky because, well, the boss has more HP. Or maybe it's just us dealing less damage, I'm not sure. Because, like, you level up in this game, this is a proper RPG, so maybe our level is just not high enough yet. Uh, I could go for the quick strat here. Let's try to do it. Maybe not. 
because it's getting spooky, but okay, let's do this. Uh, so the safe strat is to only, like, damage the boss with the shockwaves, and it's super slow, because you can only, like, damage him every other attack or something, but you can also do this. Wait, that's bad. Okay, never mind, I'm just gonna abandon the strat, I'm just gonna go for the safe one, because I don't want to die. I mean, the estimate is fairly safe, but let's not die. <laughs> so this is the safe strategy just on this. But it's like still not completely free because the bosses can like sometimes randomly just charge at you and damage you. So again we try to like stay at a specific distance so as to like line up the animations and keep the boss stun locked basically. Also yes please Kath I want a great layout from you. I guess I shouldn't say too much about the plot so that Kath and Rod have something to talk about during the run. After this. Okay, please don't kill me. That's what I was talking about. Like, if you line up the animations a bit wrong, you can get punished very uh, quickly. Uh, the idea here is also to, like, get to the edge of the screen, because once you get there, you should be safe most of the time. You are spinning. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I could talk about, to talk about it too, I guess. But maybe I shouldn't. Uh, what else is in this game? There's nothing much. Oh yeah, why am I using this phone? I'm using this phone because Jay Carrick, who has found the game originally, uh, pretty much tested it and checked that it works. Because the setup... Well, it isn't super junky, like, it's like pretty simple, but you basically need a phone that supports what's called an AV out, or like basically a phone that has a feature that allows you to output the audio and video. And this Nokia 6020 Classic happens to have the feature, and it was tested by Jay Carrick, and it works. Uh, the way I have it set it up, I basically plug into the phone a Nokia cable, like an original Nokia cable, that outputs a composite signal, and well, a composite signal can be captured with anything. In my case, we are capturing the composite signal with a $5 capture card called EasyCut, so that's why the game looks even better. Uh, how much do these phones cost? Uh, I guess it depends on how long you want to look for it. I was impatient and I basically grabbed the first one I found that was also seemingly in a good condition and I paid like... Uh, 25 bucks for it, perhaps? 20-25 bucks, I guess? But no, of course this is like a used phone, I just bought it on, like, on a webpage that people like, random people just sell their stuff. But uh, on the other hand, like the cable, the Nokia cable that I'm using to output the signal is actually a new one. Like you can, in Poland at least, you can like get a brand new cable for like two bucks or something. It's ridiculous that you can like still get it without, like without any trouble at all. You just need to like Google the cable and there is a shop that sells it like brand new. So that's amazing. So like, yeah, basically if you want, oh yeah, that's the boss by the way and it's dead. Uh, if you, I guess if you want to get into running this game, or any other mobile games, it's usually not that expensive. As long as you want, you know, to spend some time looking for the phone. Uh, as for the bosses, we are not using the dragon attack on the bosses during land missions, because it simply doesn't work. Uh, it works on the aerial bosses, but it's just slow to do it. Like, it's much better to just spam the fireballs, and as you can as you could see there, the boss just dies in like 5 seconds anyway. And it's just much better to use the dragon attack here these guys. I mean, why wouldn't they pour Dragon Guard 1? This game is amazing. I guess another fun fact, uh, this is a Europe exclusive game. It was only released in Europe, I believe. At least that's what they say on Wikipedia, so I believe them. Okay, one more and there comes the boss fight. I will try to go for the quick start again, I guess. Just to show it off, because I wasn't able to do it on the previous boss, but it is spooky, especially like on this guy, because this guy is even more spooky than the previous one, it just deals more damage. Uh, but basically the idea here is to like line up the animations so as to uh, get more hits in before the boss is knocked down again, like that. Because with the slow start you can only hit him once each cycle, basically, but with this, if you line up properly, you can deal a lot more damage. And it's just much faster. But yeah, this guy is spooky because he also deals more damage than the previous one, so I will just stop, I guess, and go for the safe one. Uh, on the other hand, like, the safer strat isn't that much slower, or it's at least 
Uh, I guess the saving grace is that you get more dragon attacks because, well, you take longer killing the boss, so you also charge more of your special attack. And you can, like, gain some of the time back just using the bonus Angelus attacks, I guess. Uh, so we are coming in, or closing in, on the end of the any percent. Or a Dragon GF percent, as we call it. But we are doing the handle today, and I will explain that in a second. But first, uh, about the names of the categories, I guess. Uh, so, of course, for those of you who know the Guard 1, and I guess everyone here should, because this is the dot blog, uh, in Dragon Guard 1 on PS2 and ending A specifically, I believe, the Dragon Angelus becomes a girlfriend of our protagonist, Kaim. Uh, so in order to honor this beautiful relationship, we have called the any percent category for the mobile game uh, Dragon GF percent. And well, since we are doing Hando today, of course, if any percent is called Dragon GF percent, then Hando must be called Dragon Marriage percent. That is exactly what we are doing today. Okay, let's finish off this uh, mission, and then I can explain the Hando, I guess, or what the Hando. Uh, involves, except for the free chapters that you get in any percent, or that you do in any percent, please die. These guys are annoying because it's kind of difficult to hit them. I was pretty lucky here. There comes the boss. Uh, please die, please die. I didn't die. Okay, died. Nice. So that'll be it for any percent. But we are continuing, of course. 43k is okay. Uh, so it turns out that there is one extra bonus stage that you unlock by reaching 75,000 points. We have 43k right now, so we need about 32k more. Uh, and we are going to get these points by basically grinding level 1-1. One, one. Because it's just fast, especially that we leveled up, and as you can see, like, now the enemies die in one hit just because we leveled up. This is a proper RPG after all. Time is super powerful now. Uh, another extra goal, I guess, is to not lose HP because you get extra points by not losing HP, basically, and we kind of need that to, you know, get to 75k as soon as possible. You can see that the enemies hit me there, but I didn't lose HP, so it's fine. Like, I don't know how, how it works. Like, you just need to get hit a bit more. I guess for it to visualize or something. Even the boss gets one shot, so that's nice. Uh, we should be doing this about four times, I believe. As long as we don't die. Because the issue is, if you die, your score goes back to zero and you need to start over. So don't die, basically. And like that's basically the reason why the estimate is so high. The record for this category is under 19 minutes, I don't remember exactly. It's my record, but I don't know the time. <laughs> but yeah, if you die, you know, you have to start over, you need to grind the points back from zero and it just takes time. So it's kind of hard to give a proper estimate for this, because like it all depends on if I die and if I do die, then where did I die? Like, it's super hard to estimate how much time it might lose. But now we need to do this probably two more times after this one. Because this is just the easiest way to get the points that we need. And now about the special level, or the secret level, the secret stage. Uh, the land part of it basically has four waves of enemies. Or, well, each wave only has one enemy. And it will be in order, like, the normal soldier, I guess, the fat soldier, the black armored soldier, and then the crossbowman, or something like that. Uh, and the difference is, like, they are different from their normal counterparts in that they have a lot more HP and they also deal a lot more damage. They basically one-shot us, so we just don't want to get hit ever. And well, since we don't want to get hit, since we don't want to die, uh, of course we can utilize our Angelus again and her dragon attack. Because even though the enemies have like a lot more HP, they still die in one hit from Angelus. So we just need four uh, stacks, I guess, of the dragon attack to kill them all instantly. And there is only the boss left. And well, the boss is again still spooky because the boss also kind of one-shots us. I mean, sometimes you can get lucky and like not die in one hit. Basically, if you manage to interrupt their combos or something. But yeah, you just need to get lucky. So just don't die forehead. We should need one more after this, hopefully. I did lose some HP here. How many points do we have? Uh, 68k. Yeah, this 
I mean, it should still be enough, I think, hopefully. Or we will be short by like a few hundred, and then we will need to lose some time, but it's okay. I'm not quite sure why I only have three dragon attacks, what's happening with mine, like, why am I not stacking that? It is a bit weird, like, how it works. I'm not quite sure when you actually get stacks. Like, actually, I should be get- I should be have, like, seven at this point, and I have only three, this is bad. I'm not sure why it's not charging up anymore. Like, I don't think that's because I'm- Oh, maybe that's because, like, I'm one-hitting the enemies with a normal attack. Maybe I just need to do it with the finisher. Okay, I see. I did not know that, actually. Okay, so I guess just kill the enemies with the shockwave, and then you get the charges. This is kind of bad because, well, 4 is the minimum that I need, but I like to have more as a backup in case something bad happens. But I guess it was not meant to be today. So yeah, hopefully we will not die, because the issue is if I die, then... Well, when I reach the level, I will not have my dragon attacks back. So I will have to improvise a lot, and that will be bad. Now we can load the game, and now we can see that the uh, hidden stage is unlocked. So let's go, and let's not die. There's no music here, sadly, I apologize for that. The music will be back for the boss, but like for the regular part of the level, there is no music, unfortunately. Okay, let's try to focus a bit. There we go. Oh yeah, by the way, there are like three versions of the game that I found. Uh, one of them is faster, but has no music whatsoever. Like the music just breaks after level two, I think, or stage two. So we don't run that category or that, that version because, well, there's no fun without music. We don't want a world without song. Also, this boss is spooky. So we try to stunlock him before he kills us, basically, because again, he can one-shot us very easily. But it is looking promising so far. The issue is he can still break out of the, out of the stunlock sometimes, because like, he likes to be super fast and just charge at us. He also shoot bullets, but they don't deal damage for some reason, or at least not a lot. Please stop, can you stop? Well, at least he kept shooting bullets and not like murdering us. But now that we are on the edge of the screen, it should be okay, please. Getting some extra dragon attacks would be also great for the aerial part. I mean, I have two, that's good enough. Okay, that's it. And now we are moving into the final part of the game, the final stage, or the final part of the final stage. You can also see that I got like 15k points for that part, last level. Like, you get so many points in these hidden stages. Yeah, well, yes, thanks for the good luck. Once again, no music here. Uh, and in this aerial level, unlike all of the previous ones, I will actually try to dodge the enemy bullets because, again, they hurt a lot. Like in the previous three aerial missions, I did not care about enemies at all because I just didn't deal damage, but these guys are actually spooky. Also, it's weird because, like, some of the enemies, if you don't kill them before they, like, come to the front of the screen, they, like, spawn, spawn far back and you need to kill them anyway. Uh, but some of the, of the enemies, if you don't kill them, they just disappear. I don't know why it is that way, but that's how it is. Well, I hope you had a good sleep, Alice. Right in time for the finish of Dot Mobile and right before Dot One. Great timing. Uh, I'm gonna keep my. Okay, do dodge the bullets, dodge the bullets. Yo, thanks, I did my best trying to make the layout as beautiful as I could. And I heard Kaf is well working on her own layout to also make it nice. I hope she will not disappoint me. I will use the dragon attack for these guys because they are annoying and hard to hit, so we can just, you know, clear them like that. I guess sometimes, like, also the dragon attack will just, like, not kill the enemies in the aerial missions. I don't know why. It, like, just doesn't deal damage sometimes. And I managed also, like, not to close the game today yet by mistake, by pressing the wrong button. That's impressive. Because I tend to just, like, randomly press the red phone thingy and, like, close the game. Can you die? I guess you can't. Okay, nice. Uh, the boss in this stage is also a bit more annoying because it can fly in circles too, like just like these guys, basically. And unlike the previous bosses, which were fairly static, I guess. We should be getting close to the boss, though, I think. Yeah, that's the boss. So now let's just fly left and hope we don't die. And the time is coming up, actually. Pretty clean run though, like no deaths, that's the big thing I guess. As long as you don't die, it's fine. And that's time. 
And you can see how many points we are getting for this one. Insane. Uh, and now, technically, there is one more requirement for the Hando or Dragon Marriage percent. You also need to unlock uh, the two secrets that the game has. But you unlock them by reaching level 10. And with the current route, you basically always get level 10 here, so it's like free, but you need to unlock them anyway. Uh, thank you for the GG's. As for the secrets, there are two of them, like I said. There is the secret bonus exclamation mark exclamation mark 2. This one is boring because it says that, well, if you fulfill standard conditions, you can enjoy aerial combat in the fighter jet. That is a very well known fact for Dota 1 on PS2. I think you'll need to like get ending E or something, and then you unlock the secret mission where we can fly the aerial jet or the fighter jet of the Japanese Soul Defense Forces or something. This one is boring. Uh, the other one, so secret bonus, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, one, is way more interesting. Again, it pertains to the PS2 game, and it says that while in strafe mode, if you press L1 and R1 hard at the same time, your attack range will double. Uh, I'm not gonna say more because I'm pretty sure Rod and Calf are gonna talk about it during their run anyway, and they need things to talk about during the one because it's boring otherwise. <laughs> so I will just leave it at that, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay for Calf's run. It's gonna be a blast, I'm sure. I will watch it for sure anyway, even though it's kind of late for me. Uh, have fun with Dot one. Yeah, thank you. See you guys next time. Wait, how do I wave? Okay, there we go. <laughs>